Radiation? Emissivity? Delta T? I thought we were flying drones and not taking a college chemistry course. Well, let's take a minute and break these things down. Continuing our series on thermal cameras and what they are and what they aren't, we're going to look a little at how an image is actually generated when using a thermal camera. As we talked about in previous episodes, thermal imagers detect thermal radiation, then translate that radiation into an image that can be understood by assigning color to different temperatures. What this means is that objects of a similar temperature in an image are assigned to the same color. This would indicate that those objects are in a state of thermal equilibrium. This means that to be able to tell two objects apart, there has to be a difference in temperature between those two objects, otherwise known as delta T. Consider this example. On the table, we have two Lego bricks that are stacked on top of each other. Because they are in a state of thermal equilibrium, they appear to be one solid object. But if we introduce an additional Lego brick that we placed in a freezer, we can see that these are obviously separate objects. Given enough time, as you can now see, these bricks have exchanged thermal energy and are now in a state of thermal equilibrium. It's the same stuff you learned in ninth grade physics. An example of how this applies to a real-world scenario would be during a search and rescue operation. If we're looking for a person in the winter who's wearing heavy clothing, if given enough time, their clothing may have reached a thermal equilibrium with their environment and not be easily detectable with a thermal imager. Understanding this concept is important when utilizing thermal imagers and in a big way helps to understand their limitations. When we understand these limitations, it allows us to leverage the tool in the most effective way. If you have any questions about how this works, make sure you drop them in the comments. And as always, thanks for tuning into the video. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on the latest in drones and robotics.